hello guys welcome back to my kitchen welcome back to vlogmas today we are making sardine bread because lately i've been making it a lot so i decided to share with you if you like this recipe keep watching and click the like button these are the ingredients we'll be using for our sardine bread and they are easily available anywhere so we have butter we have garlic powder we have chili flakes and we have scent leaf you can use maybe parsley but i love scent leaf for this recipe next we have some salt and then we have yeast this is instant yeast it doesn't need proofing next we have some sugar and then we have warm water not hot water not cold water warm water next we have oil you can use vegetable oil or you can use olive oil we have sardines if you don't like fish you can use another kind of filling but this is sardine bread so we're using sardines this is just one tin of sardine so I have two bowls of all-purpose flour here. One is one cup and one is one and a half cups of flour. We're using them at different times. In a bowl, we're going to add the warm water. Next, we'll add the yeast. And then we add sugar. We will divide the flour and then we'll add it to the bowl and then mix everything so we've divided the flour into two different portions so i've added one tablespoon of active dry yeast two tablespoons of sugar one cup of warm water and one cup of all-purpose flour so i'm just mixing everything together Cover it with a damp towel and allow it to rest for 10 minutes. I'm just prepping my scent leaves by cutting it into little pieces. The aroma that fills the kitchen is amazing. After allowing it to rest, I'm adding one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, a third of a cup of oil, and I'm going to add just a sprinkling of my scent leaf. Combine everything together and when you've properly combined it, you can knead it for about 10 minutes. This is why I have kitchen machine, so I'm going to be using my mixer to knead my dough. But if you don't have a mixer, you can just use your hand to knead the dough for about 10 minutes. This bread recipe is very, very easy and I have a similar one in my cookbook. I'm going to link my cookbook in the description box. It's a digital cookbook and you can get access to so many meals that I make that are not on my YouTube channel. So if you want to get access to that, link in the description box. find your dough to be a bit wet just sprinkle a bit of flour and then just knead it some more Now we're going to portion this dough. I first of all divide it into two, then into smaller portions till I have the right size that I need for my bread. Try to make them as equal sized as possible. If you can weigh them, weigh them, but I don't want to do that. I'm just gauging with my eyes. Now, flatten or try to flatten one of those dough balls and then you put your sardine in the middle, then seal the dough. Just roll it together nicely 
and then set it in the baking pan that you'll be using for the bread. is what it looks like I'm going to cover it with a damp towel again and allow it to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes I'm creating an egg wash by adding egg to a bowl adding a bit of water and then just whisking it Now I'm just going to brush the dough lightly with the egg wash. At this point, I've already turned on my oven to about 360 degrees Fahrenheit so that it preheats before the bread gets in there. While the bread is baking, I'm just going to combine my butter, pepper and scent leaf garlic mixture. I'm using pepper because, you know, sardine, because it's fishy, sometimes it just makes me feel somehow. <laughs> so it makes me feel a bit nauseous when I eat fish. So having pepper in that, you know, in that mix is really good. You can skip the pepper, but for me it is necessary. The bread baked for about 20 to 25 minutes and as soon as I brought it out, I'm brushing it with our butter scent leaf pepper mixture. This is what our sardine bread looks like. It is easy to pull apart. It is so hot on the inside, very soft. Anytime I make this sardine bread, before I finish taking the pictures, <laughs> they are gone because it's not really lots of it. Everybody takes one and then it is gone. I hope you guys try this recipe. If you do, let me know in the comment section. I would love to see your tryouts on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, social media basically so tag me thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye